Hello, good evening. My name is Fung Yi and I'm your host for tonight. Welcome to CEO Talks with HProp. Tonight, we're very, very happy to have with us Dr. Joseph Lau, CEO uh, of Park City Group. He is the group CEO. Hello, Dr. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, we have a lot of very, in yeah. We have a lot of uh, interesting questions for you tonight, but before we dive right in, just uh, allow me the pleasure of introducing you to those who don't know you already. And believe me, uh, I'm actually you know doing something that that is not quite uh, needed, but never mind. Uh, Dr. Joseph Lau holds a Bachelor of Business degree in Accountancy from Curtin University and is a fellow member of CPA Australia. Upon graduation in 1988, Dato took on several commercial accountancy roles in Australia, including that of a regional financial controller before coming home in Malaysia. IKEA, as we all know, is now a household name in Malaysia. Guess what? It was actually Dato Lau who was responsible for setting up and indeed was the driving force behind the growth of IKEA retail business in Malaysia, as well as the Ikano shopping center business in Southeast Asia. Well, that was between the years of uh, 1995, right up to the year 2010. Well, so successful was Dato that he was also tasked with the setting up of IKEA and Mega Bangna shopping center in Bangkok. Hence, you know, uh, those of us who know him would know that he has uh, has a very, a very nice and affectionate uh, nickname called the Furniture Man. Now we know where that came from, right? That yeah. Okay, back to Park City Group. In July 2010, Dato Lau joined Park City, Park City Group as his group executive director before being promoted to Group CEO in the year 2017. Park City Group, uh, for those of us who may not be aware already, is a regional property and investment company headquartered in Kuala Lumpur. Since, you know, uh, taking uh, on uh, the role of uh, Group CEO, Dato has rolled out numerous property launches in KL as well as in Hanoi with Group uh, with GDB in excess of 3 billion ringgit already. While well, the latest, of course, is the very successful Park Place, a condominium in Desa Park City in Kuala Lumpur. What is noteworthy is that all these projects achieved take up rates ranging from a high 82% right up to 100%. You know, I mean, you know, uh, sometime in September, on September 26, for instance, there was actually a lot of activity in Desa Park City. It was a, a Saturday morning. And, uh, you know, for two days over that weekend, Saturday as well as Sunday, uh, a lot of exciting things happened. Maybe Dato Yulon to share with us exactly what happened on that day, September 26, this year. Well, thank you, Fungi. Uh, great to be on your on live show. Um, well, yes, on, on, on September, the last week of September, last week of September weekend, uh, we launched Park Place. And um, I think we have people queuing on a night before asking to queue, but because of CMCO, we said, look, you, you, can't, you can't queue. Um, and surprisingly, I was told there about 50 people who actually slept in the car overnight so they make sure they are, they are in the queue. Uh, to get the units they want, uh, but thanks to all, all, all those, all those uh, a lot of supporters and passive buyers. Thank you very much for that, and having the trust and confidence in us. And yes, and uh, we launched. Well, thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, we can't say more than that. It was uh, at a time when, when it was the pandemic and so forth. Yes, uh, Dato. You know what? What actually stood out for me was the fact that you know uh, we are talking about units that are not in the range of five hundred thousand ringgit, and we are not talking about those you know uh, hundred or two hundred units of landed uh, two story link houses that cost about five hundred thousand ringgit each. We are talking about you know a condominium 
uh, a total of 537 units, if I'm not mistaken. We're talking about Park Place. And the cheapest unit was priced at, you know, just about 1 million ringgit, right? And there were actually five penthouses as well. So we're not just talking about the run-of-the-mill kind of launch, about 100, 150 units that were, you know, uh, attracting a lot of attention. We are talking about high-rise and, you know, high-rise these days uh, is a taboo word, right, because of the overhang. But yet, you know, uh, the crowd was quite amazing. Maybe you want to comment about that? Well, what, what's important is this to us, uh, uh, every project in Park City is special. Okay, But if you go back to Park Place, okay, whatever we do, you must, uh, we must understand who are our target audience. What do they want? The life situation they are in, okay? The living situation, the, the issues that I have at home, what exactly it is. Okay. When we look at, 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 at Park Place, um, we did a lot of discussion about, even focus about what exactly do, do this customer look for. Okay. And if, if you want to live in this corner, what is what is it, what are the pros and cons? What, what's lacking? How do you want to be better? Okay. So we must be very clear. And one issue we, we, we knew is okay, okay, you have a family of five, a husband and wife and three kids. And you got a thousand two hundred square feet apartment, three bedrooms. It's so tight. There are many things that you need. Okay, it's so tight, and, and you want a place, and when your kids go for have your tuition, or they want some private school to do their homework or anything else, there's always an issue. The house could be very noisy. Someone to watch TV. You know how is it like for family? So when we look at it, we say, look, you need some place where 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 there's an extension of your home. It's not necessarily your home. Okay, so we came up with so called this common space on on, on level twenty where. Outside, your, 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 you know, other in your homes, you can go there, whether you do your tuition class or you study or you do your homework or anything else. We went ahead and we even go extend further by saying that it's even a room where you can, your kids can have music lessons. You know, there are private rooms to be booked, the music room you can book for tuition. So that, that was the first thing we do. So whatever we do, Park Place is interesting because we really, really look at, at what do they need, okay? what the needs of the family. And then during the pandemic, it helps also because it said, okay, during the pandemic, we look, we look for space. We need something. We've been living in homes for so long. What do we need? It more so, we all even during the whole MCOP, we must admit, it helped us to be even improve the product better, despite mm -hmm. it was the same CEO in March. So we did a lot of improvement. Indeed, there was a lot of improvement during the pandemic, even better because through the experience of us, all of us, somehow or rather, is stuck at home. Okay, and we said, okay, what do we need? Okay, whether it's, it's strong Wi-Fi, whether it's space, whether it's what we need, and all those thoughts are put into into Park Place, and and you sort of like have attachment. You said, okay, I wanted to live here, and we asked all our staff, would you want to live there? Okay, whoever is involved, and the staff so said, yes, it's fantastic. What 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 they look for as well? Okay, because other these other people who, who you know these other other customer type said, look, I wanted, and this is what I need, and that's what we have done, creating what the customer want in terms of what they're going to look at, what do they look for when they move into a home. Yeah. Okay, that, that's, that's pressure. There's a lot of personal, personal feeling to it. They said, ah, okay, this is me who wants to live here. Mm. Thank you, Dato. Uh, before we, we, we talked about the detailing that they just shared with us, you know, obviously, you know, those are the USP of Park Place. And, uh, you know, generally, you know, for this Park City and, and uh, the Park City group as a whole, before we, we dwell a little bit more into that, maybe just share with us, uh, you know, what was the take up rate over those uh, two days that one weekend? And, you know, and now, you know, what is the take up rate? Um, I think, I think, you know, on, on by the Sunday, we were obviously hitting over 26%. Right now, we are actually close to 93%. I think, I think the, the good part is, in fact, I was just checking my salespeople. Uh, all those who have who have taken has already signed up even the SP. So we are a lot more or less it's like always, oh, you know, it, it's these are firm numbers, firm sales. So we're actually close to 93% so right now. Thank you, Dato. You, you know what? Uh, because uh, given the backdrop of the, the, the property market that we are now in, right? So, you know, uh, the market tends to be a little bit skeptical when they hear that a project is like, wow, you know, how many percent So they're not sure, is that fake news? You know, is it true or not? How many, the directors take how many units, bluff or not, you know, that kind of thing. And then of course, uh, the other question that they normally pose would be, uh, you know, what about the loan situation mortgage? Because, you know, a lot of people complaining that they can't secure the mortgage to actually finish off, you know, uh, the, the whole transaction. But in your case, you mentioned that you have actually achieved 93 percent sales yes. 
and yeah. it's pretty much confirmed. And, and are there people like uh, waiting, uh, you know, in case there's any dropout, you know, waiting to actually jump in? Do you have that as well? Well, we beside the anomalies, actually, it's very minimal, actually. We have quite a few on the wait list. Okay, there are probably one or two, but the moment they drop out, someone took it up right away. So it wasn't, uh, I mean, that every launches for the few years is always sudden drop out. Okay, and and the good part is there's a long list and it was taken up again immediately. In fact, all those, all those drop out. Yeah. Uh, again, just to follow you a little bit better, Dr. when you say 93%, you are referring to the number of units or are you uh, referring to the GDV? What is I'm the 93%? Re I'm referring to the number of units sold. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, this is really very interesting. It's kind of like a against the herd kind of scenario that we are looking at. You know, we are in the thick of a pandemic. You know, one that you know nobody could have imagined or prepared for. But still, you actually managed to ring up ninety three percent sales. Uh, tell us how you feel. Are you flawed by that? Well, I, I think most important is, uh, I mean, the, we, are, we are happy for all the support of the customers, you know, um, all the buyers who are in Park City who has been with us for a long time. And I think they're always trusted that something we, 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 something we would do something beyond what we said all the time. Okay, so in a way, yes, uh, we, are, we are thankful and we're blessed also uh, with all the support that everyone has given to us. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Was it a tough de decision to actually go ahead with your launch? Was this, that a, a tough one for you? This this particular product, I suppose, had, uh, we've been looking at it for the last year or so. Okay, and and before we put the product, said, what do we want? Who are we talking? To? So there's been a lot of discussion. I mean, came March again. There was a lot of discussion again because look, MCO, okay, or well, the market will be tough. Is it the right time? But I think at the end, there was you know through the experience of what we have done in Park City on a township, what we were going to do, we said, no, I think whatever it is, okay, it should be, the product should be well priced enough that the customer also interested. And also not only the price, but also the whole component that you provide to the customers, okay, the whole elements of living. So yeah, there was a lot of discussion, yes or no, yes or no, but we thought, no, I think we, we should, should do it. <laughs> I know. You know so it's all, you just have to look positive and say, look, life goes on, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. In fact, you know, I'll be very honest with you. Looking at the uh, achievement that you have managed to chalk up, one would have thought that, you know, Malaysia now, you know, is having a very robust uh, property market, you know, not the kind of property market that we're now in, you know. Yes, yeah. You know, and, and, and guess what? You know, a lot of uh, uh, products out there are being, you know, sold at a discount of even up to 30, 35% discount. Uh, were you offering any discount? Were you doing anything like that to achieve this 81% over just one weekend? No, we're just doing the usual things that we've been doing. It was nothing different from what we've been doing. Early bird special, you know, uh, certain number of units and so forth, depending on size and dependence. So otherwise, no, it's just a norm that we've been doing. Nothing really like, you know, heavy design. No, this not. we didn't do anything of that, no. Okay. Oh. Because at the end of the day, it's about, do you want to live in Park City with what you see in here? And then if it's yes, what exactly do you want? Okay, so, so we have a product which everyone look for. So it just, you know, it's very important, uh, the product that, that who you think should be living there. Mm. I think that, that's what makes yeah. it so different. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, the last launch that you uh, had before Park Place was Park Region. Of course, you know, the market positioning of that product was a little bit different, right? Uh, but how was the sales, you know, for Park Region vis-a-vis -vis Park Place? How would you compare that? Obviously, Park Region price point was about 1,001 per square foot average, okay? And at the initial launch, uh, we clocked over 70%. Um, that was about a year plus ago. So yeah, it was considering 1,100 uh, per square foot GDV of billion plus, and uh, you know, it was over, over, over 70%, uh, it was good. Right now, uh, we are close to like 88%, 89% so. So, so we have been selling also. So the interesting part is even though we're selling park place, those people who likes instead end up 
because they wanted you. So it depends on the type of customers. But we have quite a few sales amounts and may selling park places and I'm buying park region. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, that's interesting. <laughs> Yeah, but but you know, for uh, again, you know, sorry to be you know so uh, long winded about this, but you know, it, it's actually quite amazing. Eighty six percent over one weekend. Uh, was it always like that for all the launches, or, or is this the highest, or is this the lowest in the record of Desa Park City? Well, you know, I think it's the highest we've been through. Actually, if you look at Park Region, it was about seventy percent. We did South Brook. Yeah, it's also in the in the in the mid seventies. But yeah, this is the highest in, on the weekend to to hit to hit over eighty percent, eighty six percent actually. Yeah, over eighty six. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's the first time. Yeah, in our in our economy, in our apartment launches. Yeah, yeah, in 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 thick of a pandemic, a global pandemic. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's not the norm if you do social distancing. You know, people have to queue one meter apart. There's so many things. You know. So yeah, 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 uh, uh, yeah. Actually, that the, I I was referring to more than just the pandemic. We are talking about you know a, a market that is really pressured by a uh, very significant overhang, especially mm. condominiums in the mm. Klang Valley, as mm. well. You know, uh, yeah. So this being the case, ah, uh, had they not been uh, social distancing, COVID, and the uncertainty, the economic, you know. Uh, anxieties that everybody is going through. Would Park Place have done even better? You reckon? Was there any impact? Was there any impact on the product at all? Uh, well, if we've had a pandemic. We're probably going to the market earlier. I must admit, okay, because the pandemic, you just can't do anything for a while. Uh -huh. Would it be any different? Difficult to say. I must admit, but I we know that this product will sell. Okay. Uh, we, 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 know, we know we have looked into very detail about the customer needs, okay, about the residents needs we have here. So, so, so we know that people would, would appreciate what we put through because, as you said, we put our stuff into, into that living situation, okay. It's not just selling a brick and mortar, it's, it's a combination of the whole of Park City, what we've offered, the location, plus also the, 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 the you know, the last part is your home. You know, uh, what do you want? Uh, and we've thought through the process in, in great length, okay? And, and the pandemic helped us to make it even a better product. Uh, uh, but yeah, would it sell better? Uh, difficult question for me. I don't have the crystal ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, now with the benefit of hindsight, you know, uh, of course, you know, uh, a, a, a product like this, uh, there would have been a long gestation period for the planning, for the design, for the deliberation, going back and forth, you know, to the uh, drawing board. But now with the benefit of hindsight, yeah, so now, you know, in uh, living in the new norm, for instance, uh, would you have designed the product differently? Had you known about the pandemic and the new norm, uh, the new way of living, for instance? No. Would it be very different? No, it wouldn't have been, okay. It would be predominantly, I think it's pretty much intact. That's why it was easy when the pandemic is over, okay. It allows us to make improvement and we've gone to the market. Okay? So it allows us to do that. But in terms of, of the bulk of it, majority, it's there. I think we, we know we've been through it so much that we said, yes, it's ready. But the pandemic helps to make even a better product. I see. You know, uh, you know, one one of the, the, the new, uh, you know, uh, suggestion that's been uh, floating uh, in the market since the onslaught of the pandemic is like the new property mantra is it still about location you know because we're talking about working from home you know uh so uh, a lot of people need not like travel yeah uh because they work from home and and, and a, a couple of uh, uh, other uh, needs that are really very urgent uh do you agree with that is location still Location is important. still very important, for sure. Develop location for sure is still very important. No doubt about it. You can't run away from it. It's very important location. Even though it's the new norm, you know, people need not like you know uh, travel every day to work. Or you see that as being just transient, something that's temporary, and things well, will go back to the old normal. You, I would expect you go back to normal. Okay, but the pandemic. What the pandemic does is people appreciate 
they need to have a nice surrounding, the open space, the parks, the walkability. People appreciate that. Okay. Uh, I, I think that's what people people appreciate, and you know, to be able to just go on and walk around whatever it is in a controlled environment. Uh, I think people appreciate that. Uh, uh, so yes, location is important. I think beside location, now people look at say, okay, is there is there enough open space for me to enjoy to walk around? Because it's very difficult. Remember to confine your space uh, in the eight hundred or thousand two space uh, for six months, you know, without you know being not able to walk around outside. Okay, and we need it. Um, yeah, working from home. We compared to the West, so I think in, in the Asian country, for us in Malaysia, I think people still want to go back to office. Mm. I, I, you know, it, it's, not, it, it's really not. It's not just at home. Okay, yeah, yeah, at home. Okay, you, you see this for <laughs> you see to get out and do your thing. Whatever it is, you go to office, talk about it. And, you know, yeah, I mean, the social part is still important. I mean, I think all of us now appreciate. Hey, it's good to catch up with friends and talk sometimes. It's not about this. <laughs> it's not one. Now. <laughs> it's not easy, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the norm for the time, the new norm, but it will be yeah. norm. <laughs> yeah. But let, let, let's just take a short break, uh, you know, from this uh, Park City and from uh, Park City Group, uh, you know, to maybe, you know, uh, this is an opportunity for me to ask you for your comments on uh, Budget 2021 on the property sector and how in any way it might impact or influence your, your planning, your strategic planning in the days ahead. Do you think there was, uh, oh, oh, okay, let me put it this way. Uh, were you surprised? Were you pleasantly surprised? Or were you uh, not so pleasantly surprised? Well, no, I'm not surprised because at the end of the day, the government has to go back to basics and says, who are those most affected, okay? Uh, I think what the budget has been is, is, is to address the, the, the right yet well-being or the people well-being. Okay? And, and to ensure that at least that the economy stay resilient moving forward. So that part requires real help. Okay, the immediate help. All right. So so yes, I think in that sense, it's very good the budget has taken care of that. There are also those helping uh, uh, those those who, who need to be first timer homes with the stamp duty exemption, that's also good, obviously. The continuation of the home ownership will continue to be great. It was good earlier. Uh, it will continue to be uh, to, uh, support needed. But I was hoping for more. But there again, we understand. You know, there are no so many competing factors. Um, you know, as long as we can, we can get our things back to normal slowly and kind of because it won't be an overnight thing. I mean, look, <laughs> MCO is not just Malaysia everywhere. It's not easy. So. Yeah, right. yeah, right. that's the basic what's required. People's the right will be in first, all those, all those who are affected the most. Okay, so uh, you know whether or not you know then the question as to whether or not you know uh, whatever that has been unveiled under the twenty twenty one budget has he uh, influenced your your roadmap, for instance, in your future launches for Desa Park City, for instance. We obviously need to look at, I mean, you have to be very clear what you want to look for in terms of customer target market. Yes, I understand a lot of people are going for a more lower price market. Okay, that's expected. Um, you got to bear in mind, it's not just it's not just a budget, okay? There's so many things around, for example, the law interest regime. It's so low. When have you seen the interest so low? Okay. Um, you know, you put in the banks, you almost get nothing to you do. Property has always been a good investment historically over a period of time. And, and three, four years down the track for new development, if, if, if I mean, if things should be over, things should be back to normal. So you look at that sense, it's probably at the best time to buy. When is the, when, when is the best time? You, you cannot wait forever, but especially for those who need to, a home. Someone need a proper home. So I, I won't be so pessimistic, you know, I won't be so pessimistic about it, but looking forward, yeah, it's going to be tough. I understand that. But there's a good thing, a lot of things about it, low interest regime, everything else, look, you know, price could be more attractive. You know, there are many things going for it. So it's going, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm more optimistic than <laughs> most of the most. <laughs> so, so I think you, 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 you hit a very interesting point. Uh, just thinking aloud, just wondering, you know, had there not been a pandemic, would the pricing uh, of Park Place be different? No. <laughs> because we have been discussing all along when we put the product we said that's our price point that's our price point we said it already that's our price point okay um we said okay 
it, you, you may affect your decision okay, in terms of improvements to make it better. Uh, but so we, in, in one sense, you know, it was more the product, okay, what, what we want to do. And, and we spent a lot of improvements in one sense. Okay, it's not just price, price is what you get out of it. But I think it was priced very well, comparing, bearing in mind that Park Region was priced about 1001, just about a year plus ago. Mm, okay, so, okay. So, so you know, there was no discount. Uh, I, I suppose you know that's what I was asking because of of COVID. I mean, this was the price you were going to the market anyway. <laughs> the beautiful part is interest rate so low, everyone start buying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, so, okay. But I said, okay, you know, I mean, if that part of your interest would be different. So, in a way, I won't say that we affect, but we, we, we took the opportunity to say, make it a better product, spend more to be a better product. In one sense, you can say there's a discount, okay? But mm -hmm. but we, we, we give more offerings to say, okay, it's probably what over the period we look at and said, we want to have a better product. That's what we do. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Uh, <laughs> Spend yeah. more to make it a better product. <laughs> Desa Park City is a very interesting township. I mean, you know, uh, those of us who are familiar with Kia with Desa Park City would know that it was actually barren land, right? Before development uh, was initiated. Maybe you just want to, to go through, you know, very, very quickly, talk a little bit about how that came about. And, you know, I'll, I'll be very keen to actually uh, talk to you, Dato, about the value creation and the, you know, uh, property price uh, precision in Desa Park City over the years. Maybe you just want to share with us very quickly, you know, the beginning of Desa Park City. Um, I mean, price specifically. It, it, I think that if you recall, the first launch for uh, for a uh, link house was four hundred forty eight thousand. Okay, uh, now you're talking about one point eight at normal terrace link house. So, so you can see it moved very, very uh, from the initial launch. I think there was there was I think uh, Safa uh, uh, Safa Ter homes. Okay, then if you look at it, even the most recent launch, the most interesting part region, we had a buyer who who just within a period a short period of of less than six months. Uh, I sold it and make hundred ninety thousand. So I said, "Wow, okay." I think it was a, it was one of the smaller. It, it was one of the thousand five square feet unit, and and he sold it. He made hundred ninety thousand. I said, "Wow, that's amazing." I think we. Oh, made, so, so there has been good price, and and even the whole period, all we've been all our launches, to completion, the price has gone up. South broke. Okay, um, the small is our average was about seven hundred seven plus. Okay, and and. This point is that they were selling it, uh, having a gain of about 90,000. So it's quite a good gain within a period of two, three years, actually, most of them. Uh, so, is it something that's sustainable? Yes, I believe so. Um, there's no reason not to, because even the, the last, the, the, oh, the last one, West Side 3, the same, is moving on. There was a survey done by uh, Knight Frank on uh, behalf of us, and, and we've seen over the last five years, okay, um, it has been moving up. Even right now, I know um, there are rumors saying that there's, there's, you know, there are products, or, but no, it's not. It's still holding very, very well in, in, in this park city. Uh, no fire sale? No, no. I have not heard of any, <laughs> anything at all. <laughs> You know, because we have actually gone through two down cycles already, right? This Apakji has actually experienced, has gone through two down cycles. Did the values deflate? I mean, did they like plunge during the period? No, 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 no. It is not plunge. So I said, we've been doing the whole period and look at study, it's not plunge. In fact, every time during a recession, we start moving up the moment things get better. So, 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 no, it has been like, whether it's uh, during the, 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 what, the, the subprime crisis is the same, after it went up very aggressively even, so. Yeah. What no, is but, the magic? That what, what is the magic? Continue to do what you say you have to do. Continue to do the value creation. Continue to <laughs> deliver above expectation. Continue to build the community. Stay put to what you said in terms of your DNA. Okay, don't, don't, don't worry about it. It's not about just, ah, you know, times are tough, cuckers. no. Stay put to your DNA. Very interesting. Maybe share with us what is Park City's DNA then? I mean, it's a, it's about the family. It's about the convenience. It's about the community. Okay, it's about those things that was written, and and you must deliver it. 
You like it or not, okay? And th there is, it, it takes an effort. It's easy to build, but you need to engage everything on a community, uh, whatever you do. And you must say, okay, like schools, you provide it because the community need it. Okay? Waterfront, and we'll talk about it. It's, it's, it we'll, we'll talk about it. It's, it's another thing, Nick, that, that you do it because the community in the place, you know, is it's for, for their, their daily needs. So so when you know what you what what the customers want on what's the purpose for, then you put towards what the customer needs are, you know. Uh, then you understand what the cust put it properly, what the, the way the customer wants it, you know. The walkway, everything else, the maintenance, a whole lot. So, so it's just staying put to what you said all along, okay? Uh, uh, for 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 the community. That that is very interesting, you know, because uh, you were the furniture man once. Now you're the property man. <laughs> you used to furnish homes. Uh, what are you furnishing now? I'm furnishing the community. <laughs> And how do you do that? I mean, and by that, exactly what do you mean, Nato? Well, it, you look at components, what's still missing, what the community needs, okay, to be to have a better living. Okay, because it's about a better living, a better life for, for, for everyone who lives here. So you continue to put things that you need. Okay? Uh, you look at it, look at things, does it work? Like, for example, whether it's trees, whether it's the park, whether it's the work where what do you need improvement? Okay? You improve to be better to 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 to, to so that the community say ah this is better. Okay? You always hear feedback. This is good. No, this this can be better. That can be better. Take it seriously. Some some are real, but because obviously you cannot make sure everything you fit. Okay? So it's a continuous thing that you do. I mean, building building waterfront was one example. That, that look, you need you need a place that you want to shop for all your conveniences. It's not a shopping mall. No, it's not. So you create that. Okay, you finish that place. All right. Um, what if I said, okay, it's a totally different as a unit office, you need workspace, you need people who do all the services, okay? So you create what you, you create Arcadia itself, create Arcadia was example. Right? So you continue to do it, whether it's a common space, whatever the community. During during the pandemic, for example, we said, look, everyone's worried about okay, is it uh, uh, for example, are the uh, 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 are all the place properly sanitized? We sanitize every month, all the public space, okay. Uh, the parks everywhere we sanitize it not because the government wants to do but we think what's right for the community taking care of them because if they take care of them things will take care before everyone talk about testing we decide before we open we're going to test every of our foreign workers every staff you know the security guards and cleaners we went ahead and do it okay it's not about when someone tell you to do it but if you think it's the right thing and to get that your your, your company we do it and we impose screening so you go back to say, okay, what does the community need? You keep on furnishing the community. Furnishing is not just today. It's a continuous effort, continuous improvement. Right, right. Uh, I, I think, you know, you've hit the nail, uh, Dato, when you say uh, continuity. You know, one of, uh, you know, we have actually received many questions and, and one of those that have come in and is being repeated, uh, you know, it, it, uh, uh, among quite a number of people who responded, they uh, would like your thoughts on, you know, how the community the common areas in Desa Park City will look one of these days, you know, in the future, you know, when you finish your, your land bank and you have completed, you know, all your construction, you know, how sustainable is the upkeep of the place? Maybe you just want to like, share your thoughts to allay, you know, the concern. I think, I think a couple of things. One is obviously you need to make sure that um, where the trees or the shrubs are things that are easily maintainable. It doesn't, you don't have to maintain all the time. You don't have to. So, so selection of exam, actually we're going through a, a major exercise where the, 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 the straps, the trees, and even the parks will be improved, okay? It will be, will be upgraded. So we're actually going through the exercise right now. Uh, uh, okay, so you need to, to bring it forward so that, you need to do it so that, okay, looking forward, uh, it becomes more sustainable. You, you learn try and error, so certain trees you don't plant because you need a lot of maintenance, for example, and too much work. So you need to go and start adjusting those things that, that you need. That's one part of it as far as, as maintaining the whole part, make it more easier to maintain and less less issue in that. Uh, we'll probably go more towards LED lighting where you need, okay? So cost will bring it down lower. So so those are just 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 two examples that we look at it, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, so, so this just just examples that we look at how to make it more sustainable. And green for yeah uh, Tato, uh i think you've just finished the refurbishment uh the makeover of your uh, waterfront is, is that correct yes yeah 
and uh, I, I, you know, I, I've been there not too long ago, and you know, definitely there's this sense of uh, added vibrance because you've opened up certain areas, you know, and 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 so on and so forth. Maybe you just want to share with us, uh, you know, your bringing in your retail expertise, yeah, into Desa Park City now. Share with us your thoughts. I think I think we go back to we go back to what. Uh, Waterfront or so. Waterfront is a community mall, okay? The community mall was to serve what the neighborhood needs. Then you say about supermarket, you talk about a post office, you talk about laundry, you talk about pharmacies and FMB. So that's what we did create it, okay? Now over the years, obviously, we found also that 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 people like start engaging our park more. And we said, okay, how nice if we if we can engage the waterfront to the park okay so that's how we in the end we said we create so that when you come from on the park on the other side of the way the playground is you can walk straight into into in, in, into waterfront itself as a neighborhood center and so we did, and you can see that predominantly the offerings are all fmb because it was to create that link okay to create that that familiness to create a convenience for all your customers when your kids are playing in the playground you can just sit on fmb and watch them you can see what's happening so that it was what we create and we do all the improvement to make it more green to make it more lively more interesting uh that's what we did for waterfront okay and 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 thank you i think i think the response has been has been great i like the green is always interesting if you can start making it more fun more interesting i look forward to do that the green the green uh, the, the, the neighborhood park itself mm -hmm. uh what other retail magic is up your sleeve, Dato? <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the town centre there, the town centre there where Park Place is to it, um, we're looking at, at, at putting something also interesting which is it's, it's, it's lacking, a, a more, a community more for the young youth, more driven towards active sports and entertainment. Uh, that's all I'll tell you, okay? But it's going to be very interesting, okay? Where it will be linked to the new Park City Town Square, we call it, or the way the lake is there. Uh, there will be lake. So they'll be very interesting. More details will come up later. We want to share a little bit more about this new Town Square that you've just uh, you know, talked about. How different is it going to be from the existing waterfront? Waterfront, if you notice, very green, dog park and so forth. I must admit, this is a, a town square. Then you said, what are the elements of a town square? Uh, I think there'll be more hot scared. There'll still be water. Right now, we're draining the, the, the lake, okay? Actually draining so that we clear up all the mud. And hopefully, we can put a membrane and have a very nice, clean uh, lake itself. That's what we're doing. Uh, so there'll be a lake, obviously. There'll be, I yeah, walk around the lake. You can, you know, again, this is extension of, of another park itself within water, within Park City itself. And and this town uh, center that's coming up now is actually where Akidia is, isn't it? Can you repeat that? Uh, it, it's where Akidia is right now, right? The town center. GB, you you're talking about the the retail. Ah, uh, retail. Yes, yes. No, is the town, the town, the new town square is where on 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 the other side of Park Place. Okay, where. The, the Plaza Arcadia is. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. How is uh, Plaza Arcadia doing? It was doing. Ground floor has probably close to ninety one percent occupancy. Occupancy. Uh, first floor, you see a lot of services. Whether it's dance school, whether it's tuition, whether it's you name it. There's a lot up there. Okay. Uh, that one is probably also over ninety one percent tenanted right now. So in one mm -hmm. sense, you know. Uh, it's actually, you know, uh, yeah, we're happy about where things are, uh, the customer's response to, to Plaza Arcadia itself. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you know, we, we actually have received a lot of questions asking, you know, what's your next project, Lato? There are few in the horizon. <laughs> <laughs> still, okay, we have time. We have time. We have time. We, yeah. They're still in the horizon. I won't, I won't talk much yet because everything is still in planning stage uh, for me. <laughs> so, yeah, one of them obviously is, is, is more senior living. Uh, we're working through it. So, But I'm also looking at another product on the track. So there are a few, a few things that are still working through. But uh, mm -hmm. come up later. <laughs> all, all these are high-rise, right? They will not be any more landed 
property, won't be right? Yeah, yeah. Will not be anymore, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You know, uh, Datuk Yu, uh, uh, Park City in Desa Park City has been uh, recognized by H Prop uh, Malaysia two years ago as a responsible developer, uh, putting up sustainable uh, development. So, you know, we we just like to to hear from you. You know, uh, what is to you, right? Uh, what is a responsible developer? How do you see yourself as a responsible developer? You, you need to. I think I think most important is you need to understand your your, your customer needs. Okay, I mean, there there was a question you asked value creation, which I haven't touched. I'll touch on that later. Okay, um, you, you need to understand your cus, customer uh, your your customer needs all the time. Okay, um, in everything you do, not just not just the product, but also common space, you need to engage them, all right? And you need to take everything proactive, okay? You, you don't just wait for them to tell you. I know there's the issues here and there that is, is expected, but you need to be proactive in, 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 in all your things. Whether it's, 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 you know, after you hand over the building, you don't just like, okay, thank you very much, wash your hands. Even though it's after the defect library, go back and help them. Uh, in, in the individual units, okay, whatever it is, look at what the real problem is. Okay, don't, don't it's not about saying it's not my response, it's not about that. Okay, you must be responsible what, what you put together to them at the end of the day and help them. That's one part of it in terms of in terms of the the, the, the bias itself. Okay. Then in terms of the GMB, we we help them. Okay, we go back and say, okay, this one, if you need specialists in landscape, we'll come and help you to be better. If you need contacts, if you need contractors. And look at how to do we will tell you there are times where we even subsidize to to help them okay in certain things because we think that it's only right okay so that so that you know some of them that okay yeah you need to do something we do it okay so there's a lot of things that you do like during, during the whole cold coffee thing okay when we are though the guts are being tested we organize a mass testing and we go inform on a jmb these other special arrangement we've got would you like to be part of it we encourage you to be part of it because it's important, okay, and and everyone look for it. So so they all support, and and thanks to all the JMB, they all support. We have a team of people here who just focus on helping all those JMB, although they're really being handed over, okay. But we still go in and help them, whether it's mechanical issues, technical issues, whether it's TMB, whether it's water, we still help them. We find out what actually the issue, okay, could be leaking, could be could be anything. We we engage a lot of the so as I said, we got people who just go to all talk to all the JMB chairman and all the people. I said. You know, hey, this is issue. Can we better? So we understand. You know, and it's just continuous engagement, and and that takes you know. So I said, not just a handing off. We got customers. Who, there was a customer who, who called us. The project was handed to them, must be about fifteen years ago. Okay, and and we went in and have a look and tell them, and they said, okay, you, this this is how it should be fixed. We bring in a consultant and advise them to do it. Okay, and you like it, we can give you a list of contract. Talk to them. Okay, we're not trying to do it. Talk to them to help you to see how you can resolve it. So that's what we do. It's about being responsible to for whatever thing you do. Because you got to bear in mind, a lot of people, that's the only investment decision in their life. And it's a very big investment decision. So you want to make mm -hmm. sure that they feel comfortable, they can, someone they can go to and ask for help. Mm. Now, do you agree with me that, you know, uh, building a very successful township uh, does come with a price for the developer because there'll be a lot of expectations on you. For instance, you know, uh, what you just articulated, you know, uh, you actually walk that extra mile to offer a lot of assistance along the way. But, you know, uh, human nature is such that, you know, there'll be more and more expectations. So, you know, moving forward, how do you actually look at Desa Park City as a township? I mean, you know, what is your vision uh, for Desa Park City? Because one fine day, you know, you finish all your, your land bank, right? You have to move on, right? <laughs> Well, even if you finish a land bank, we still have a lot of basic interests here. Whether it's the waterfront, whether it's the school, <laughs> whether it's the clubhouse, we will still be part of it. We will continue to be part of it. Okay. Oh, that's uh, good news. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm sure a lot of listeners will be very happy. Yeah, we yeah. Will be part of it. <laughs> that that reminds me, your uh, retail space is all leased out, right? You don't sell them, right? And the community mall, no, Waterfront, we own everything else. This community mall looking, we own everything, we own everything else as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good news for the listeners that, you know, for, for, for your buyers, they'll be happy. 
<laughs> yeah, yes, so, so there will be, be things that so-called is ours, okay, that helps also in maintaining this whole place coming forward. So it's also our vested interest to hold it because otherwise the school is ours anyway. We've, we're expanding the school, okay? We want to make yeah, sure yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, um, how many more years will the development activities be active in Desa Park City at the rate that you're going? Which one is that? Uh, Desa Park City, you know. How many more years, you know, will the construction uh, continue? Five well, years? I think, I think easily, if you ask me here, I mean, depends on how we do, probably at least seven, eight years. We're not going to rush and just put masses in there. No, no, no. It'll be at least eight years, seven, eight, even nine, depending. Yeah. Yeah, so and and it'll, it'll yeah. Be a while before there's still a long way to go. Yeah, uh, you mentioned earlier you wanted to to say something about the value creation, right? Yeah, yeah. I I, yeah. I, I, I think what's important everyone should know. Okay, who we, we we don't just build a home, as I said. We don't just. I must say, we, we build a community. Okay, so when we put we do things, we look at many things during construction period, for example. Okay, um, I personally with the team walk around all the the construction site itself all the unit itself and says is this good enough okay can it be better you know um what can we change we may have spec something we said look this is lousy change it okay and we do a lot of that okay so to make it and, and you know we, we again we said we started by designing to says how does it like you want to stay in there okay then we said okay at the construction period we should go in and says is that what we said we is it is that what we're doing what we're saying <laughs> What saying is one thing when you launch it, but you know, you put yourself in the shoe of, of this buyer who is probably his biggest investment in his life. A lot of them, I said, Hey, am, is it meeting my expectation? Okay, I, I mean, if I'm the buyer, you no, know, it's not only meeting, but you should exceed my expectation, right? Okay, whatever you do, you talk about. It. So he said, Oh, no, change it, no, change it. So we do a lot of that improvements. Okay, we don't, we, we don't change the layout, we do improvement in terms of whether it's better product, whether adding more product. Whether it's your unit to make it better, the quality product, or the common space. Okay, that's what we do. You know, the plants we use, we're very particular, the plants we use, you know. Um, I mean, there's so many, something so tiny that we wonder, why, why, why do you get so tiny detail? And then we said, you know, hey, <laughs> is that how we like it if we live here, you know? So, so that was during the construction period, okay? And it, it's, it's always interesting. So when you look at it, people say, wow, okay. <laughs> your, your experience of living in a way, I mean, when I was doing suffering a lot, I look at it, I said, oh, no, this is not good, change this. Uh, and they said, you should, should, I said, yeah, we should change it. Even Sophia said, no, we should change it. So we do a lot of this. He, that's how we have been historically, okay? Park place, even when it's launching, I already says, improve this, improve that. I said, oh, <laughs> So you, you look at that, okay? Uh, improvement to be better, to be more sustainable, okay? And sometimes, you know, you miss something along the way. So you, that's what we do during the construction. Period. And and we as us when we look at materials, we look at things and say, oh, this can be better. Okay. Um, can we <laughs> think common space. Usually we improve a lot on the common space. Okay. Yeah. Because we think that, you know, your, your experience as, as a as a customer is when you hand over and say, Wow, I like this place. Wow, I like that. Wow, this is good. You know, you, it's not a shopping process. People are talking about it here. You go in and you, if you and you like it, you know, and your whole process is come, it's a pleasant experience. Then it, it goes to the even pre delivery stage, for example. <laughs> we have people inspecting every unit, every detail as much as we can. Okay. But it takes time, it takes people, resources, it takes man hour. And yes, they will still be thinking that miss out. Okay. Then when you are done, the, the handover, okay, they must experience a good feel that, ah, okay, you know, and, and explain to them what they're getting. There are things that are not bad. We, we take note of it. You learn from this process if you do a proper, from, from pre -constru during construction to the pre and then post handling to the customers. You learn through it. And, and then as we learn through it, we said the customer said, well, you know, the staff would say, the customer says that, well, the customer look for this and look for that. Then we can be better all the time. It's a continuous process, mm -hmm. you know? So that's what we do, okay? Uh, um, we always do, we have been doing it for years. All the projects we do improve the products, improve the, the, the quality of materials used, improve everything that we, we think it should be improved. You know, subways and some is so many. We look at it, we say, Oh, that's not nice. I think we need to do that. We need to do that. Sometimes we <laughs> yeah, with that, they say, Oh, we're gonna spend, we're gonna tear down and we're gonna spend some money and we're gonna spend some more. I said, Yes, do <laughs> <laughs> so if you put yourself in the shoe of a customer, okay, you say, Ah, I understand. Okay, 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, really very interesting, Dato. But what does that mean to your margin? No, it's, as I said, it's, <laughs> you must always allow for that. Okay. What I mean is, you, they're always plus and minus their savings here and there. Okay. And, but look, certain things that you just have to do it because it's, it may not be practical for whatever reason. You just have to do it. Okay. Certain things like you look at, no, this is not, you must change it. Okay. Because otherwise, it's not just about, as I said, it's not just about putting a, a brick and mortar to the customer. It's about making sure you do it right. If you have to spend more, you spend more. We have instances we spend more. Okay, beyond our budget, do it. I said it's not. It's not about. It's not about then because look, the, the customer has an expectation, as I said, and you must deliver. Meeting the expectation, just like oh, okay, it's what I expect you to do. But how do you go beyond that? It's always a challenge. I ask everyone. I ask the staff. I ask everyone. Okay, because as I said, you know, over the years since I took on, is to build the brand of Park City. The brand is is is, is beautiful. It's how do you put it together. And the brand is not me, Joseph Lau. It's all of us. It's all the staff. Okay. It's everyone. We're all brand ambassadors. And that's what the brand stands for. So I, I keep on telling everyone, you guys are all the brand. It's not just me. Okay. I'm just one of you. And when we have fun together, that's what the brands can perform better. Right? And that's what we're doing all the time in here in Park City. How would you describe your uh, management style, your vision for the company? Well, to me, to me, it's, it's very much a lot of teamwork. Okay, I always look at someone's strength. You, you can look at someone's, how do you put it, weakness all the time, and you start hitting that guy all the time. But I don't believe in it. Okay, everyone has his strength. Okay, whatever it is, even even the most important have their strength. If you focus on your strength, you build a very happy employee. Okay. Because it, it, they feel motivated. Yes, who doesn't have weakness? Tell me. Everyone has weakness. Okay. So I always push about it. Look at we, we look at everyone's strength. We I keep on pushing everyone. It's a teamwork. I, I told all my people, I said, you guys are a lot better, no better than me. Okay. My job is to 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 to, to tell you where we want to go. Okay. And help you along the way. Because the, the various health development are specialism, they've been around for a long time. Some of them been longer than me. And they're better, they know better than I am. Okay, why is it for me to do this? But I'm here to guide you. I'm here to give you direction. I give you, we give you the direction. We give you the strategic the vision where we want to go. And you are better off to, to, to move that, to move that direction because everyone do things differently as long as the same objective is obtained. Okay, so look at someone's trying what they contribute. Give them a direction, the, 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 the direction, the, the, the strategies where you want to go. Let them move the direction. I can move their way. Continue to talk about teamwork. Okay, yeah. That's more important. And you have to build the whole organization to be. Everyone has to understand that is how we work in Park City because a, a company be, move beyond anyone. And these people are the key people to move your company forward because you cannot rely on one person. Mm -hmm. Life is fun when everyone is working together and talking a lot. <laughs> and moving <laughs> uh, You know, Dato, we have actually received a lot of questions about your next project. Beyond Desa Park City, and the fact that you know you 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 are in the process of acquiring six parcels of uh, industrial development land, totaling three hundred and ninety-seven acres, uh, and you are paying two hundred and fifty million ringgit for that. <laughs> the billion-dollar question is that Desa Park City two point zero. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's for people to start putting it's a quarry. <laughs> well, Desa Park City was a quarry too. <laughs> I, 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 I let everyone imagine what's going to happen. But uh, we, uh, since, since 2016, when I came on board as a CEO, I, took, I said, look, we're looking for more, uh, uh, we, um, we're looking at more land bank for uh, another township. Okay, I think. Uh, so I will, this is, Yes, that definitely will be something up boiling in, in the corner <laughs> and hopefully other places. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Other places? <laughs> hopefully like, other places. I don't know yet. <laughs> other places in the Clan Valley? Well, I like to expand beyond just Desa Park City. Let's put it away. We would like to be uh, an beyond that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, do you... Do you think that you know, Clang Valley, it's still 
the place to be when it comes to property development? Yes. Okay. If you look at back to population again, uh, Klang Valley is uh, over six million population. It's probably the biggest township in here. So yes, I think I think Klang Valley has a lot more 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 uh, more potential going as as a, as a, to have the Park City brand uh, oh. flying it. Okay. So you are looking at uh, other acquisitions besides this piece of well, industrial time, land. Time will tell for me. <laughs> <laughs> time will tell <laughs> time will tell okay uh what about beyond malaysia are you also exporting the uh park city brand beyond hanoi because you are already in hanoi yes we're already in hanoi actually we are also looking at uh ho chi minh um i think that market has a lot of potential uh our project in in hanoi is about 200 acres i'm also looking at hanoi um expanding hanoi uh, so yeah, Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh are the two markets we would like to really focus on okay, as well for Vietnam. I've always said I like, I like to look at something in Southeast Asia. Um, I must admit, I have a bit of, a bit of soft spot for, for Bangkok. I love it. So <laughs> yeah, in there, I think, I think having a mega bang Nai in there, uh, Thailand is always interesting. But you know, uh, right now with the, with the pandemic, it's sort of like, oh, what do you do? <laughs> but right. yeah. I like to look beyond, and then as I said earlier, as I said, oh, before, I think, I think both uh, beyond beyond Southeast Asia, both Malaysia and Vietnam and, and Thailand. I think, I think the, the 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 certain European markets like like UK and, and even Australia. I don't know, but what's possible? I, I don't know. It takes time to look at it, but the more immediate, more more interesting is more to focus on Klang Valley. On, on the Klang Valley. Yeah, we're also yeah. in Mir. Yeah, so but yeah, Mir is a hometown where we started, so. Yeah, more on Klang Valley, actually. Yeah. Uh, do you see uh, Park City Group going into only township development? Or, you know, do you actually see the group venturing beyond just the development of township into something else? I don't know, commercial, whatever. Well, if, if, if we can do something like what we do in Plaza Arcade, there's something different within Klang Valley, we'd love to do it. Uh, but again, it has to be the right location, the right place. It had need that, that size. Uh, Plaza Arcadia, extend alone, is also interesting. Okay, um, how how things are put together, not a typical shop houses, but done in a different way. But then again, small location, what's available. Uh, yeah, you know. That's a little bit about yourself. When you you know transform yourself from a furniture man to a property man. Uh, you know, was the transformation uh, anything that you expected it to be? Because they're dealing with a different crop of people, right? Oh, I, I think at the, at the end of the day, I mean, I mean, <laughs> one is furnishing a home. The other one is furnishing a community. <laughs> In that sense, there are some, some similarity. But then again, it's about, about I suppose, it's, you know, I've, I've, I've been lucky I, in one way or another. I knew a lot about Park City, what's been happening since day one. So it was easy for me to transition into it. Okay, But you're right, it's, it's, it's different. And uh, 15 years at IKEA, you know, your, your, your blood tan becomes blue and yellow. And it's... it's <laughs> 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 I still yeah, remember yeah. you interviewing me back in 2003, first time for me. Yes, yes. <laughs> we shall not talk more about that. Otherwise, people will know how old I am, okay? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And me too. <laughs> Just my hair goes over here. what is your biggest and most significant takeaway from your ongoing development of Desa Park City? What are the lessons learned? People. I mean, it's all about people. I think, I think, uh, uh, single handedly, you can't always do it. It's about people supporting you, people you work with, people having sharing the same passion with you. It's all about people. Okay, I think the similarity between it, what I was before in IKEA and now it's about people. Uh, uh, you, but but as, as 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 a leader, as a person running, you should provide a very clear uh, direction where you want to go. And when people understand it, okay, and you direct people, it's a wonderful experience. I can tell you that. And, and you enjoy it. You wake up, it's not only a single moment, you say, oh, it's tough. You come back, you enjoy it. You come to work, you enjoy it. You go back, you enjoy it. So it's about people. Yeah. 
Uh, that's the biggest takeaway. You know, and and as I said, everyone have their strength. Look at what they are good at, and you you always feel happier. Mm, great. So from uh, furniture man to property man, and after that, does it stop at property man? Yeah, I think so. We're all. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> For now, looks like that way. Property man. <laughs> Start out, yeah. Isaac. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, well, you know, we are already at the nine thirty-five now. Uh, Dato. Um, maybe you know, if there's like any comments, uh, you know, any advices you want to give, you know, to uh your buyers, would be buyers. Uh, just anything on your mind that you want to share with us? Well, I think I think first thing foremost is we, we thank everyone, all our supporters, all our all our buyers, or I says everyone who is with us. Thank you very much. Uh, I think to all the buyers, to all the customers, look at it. Yeah, I know there's it's, it's everything is 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 it's not permanent. It's just temporary. There's always bad times ahead. I'm sure things should be better. Okay, uh, for buyers, look at it. I think. You know, if you're there to look for things, look for, make sure you, 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 you look for something right now. Okay. Don't, I know. Yeah. There are a lot of consideration, but look, things will be better. Okay. It's not like if it's how you look at it. If you look at it, you know, the hole is bigger and bigger than you get bigger. If you look at it positively, <laughs> it, it'll be okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Is there anything else, uh, Dato? Do you oh, want to say anything? Thank you're you good? very much. Okay. Thank yeah. you very much. For yeah, thank you very much, you know, for your patience, for your time. And uh, also thank you, you know, to all our listeners who have tuned in. Uh, you know, uh, thank you for spending the last uh, one hour with us. Uh, you know, hopefully, you know, you, you had a, a very impactful uh, one hour. Uh, well, I felt that way. It was very refreshing. Uh, thanks again, Dato. Yeah, snippets of tonight's uh, chit chat will be uh, on our portal tonight, and the, the full report will be out uh, on Friday in our e publication. And with that, uh, thanks again, uh, Dato, and also to our listeners. Uh, stay safe and uh, catch you all soon. Bye. Thank you. Stay safe. Bye. Bye. Good night, everyone. Bye.